Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, dear little learner. Hope so. All of you will be fit and fine in your home. I'm your teacher, Ms. Tanzila, and you are now with me in English class. In today's class, we are going to continue our learning with tracing. In the previous lecture, we have learned how to trace and write the letter from A to J, both in uppercase A as well as in lowercase. And now in today's lecture, we will continue after the letter J. So let's come with me to start our today lecture. First of all, we are going to revise our lines. Did you recognize the lines? And you learn about the lines? Yes, you learn about the line in the previous lecture. First of all, we are going to revise the slanting curve and standing line because with the help of these lines, we will draw our, we will write our letters. So it's very important to learn and recognize the lines. So let's start to learn the line about the lines. Standing line, this is called a standing line. The straight line is called standing line. And now this line is called a sleeping line. This is called sleeping line. Now slanting line, watch it carefully. Look here, this is called standing line. This is standing line. Now curve line, both these lines are called curve line. With the help of all these lines, we are going to write our uppercase letter and lowercase letter. This one is a sleeping line, this one and this one is a slanting line, and the straight line is called standing line, and both these lines are called slanting line. Now, from A to J, we have learned in the previous lecture, first of all, we are going to revise from A to J, and after J, we will start our new lecture. In the letter of A, in the writing, in writing the letter of A, we use we use the two line, the slanting and the sleeping line, the two slanting line, and in the middle sleeping line. Now in the lowercase uh, letter A, we use the curve line and the straight line. Now in the letter B, we use the standing line and the curve line just like this. Now look at the letter B. You have learned from A to J in the previous lecture. So I'm just going to revise it a standing line and then a curve line just like this and in the letter c you will draw a complete curve line from top to the bottom and in the lower case letter c you what you will do you will draw a curve line from the middle to the bottom just like this now let's come to revise our letter d a standing line and a complete curve from top to the bottom then for the lowercase letter D again, a standing line and a curve, but in opposite direction of the curve of the big D. And you will start the curve of the let lowercase letter D from the middle to the bottom, from the middle to the bottom. Now, a standing line, one standing line from top to the bottom and three sleeping lines one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So it will make your letter E, capital letter E, understood? Now, for a small letter E, you will draw a curve from the middle to the bottom, and then a sleeping line at the in middle, in the middle. Now, after E, our next letter is F, a standing line and two sleep. In this case, we need two sleeping line, one at the top and one at the middle. Now, for the 
small letter f first of all we will start from a little curve at the top like this and then a standing line up to the bottom and put a small sleeping line in the middle now for g what you will do you will draw a complete curve just like this a complete curve and then a sleeping line now for the small letter g a curve just like a uh, letter o or zero and then a standing line that you will convert it to the curve line in opposite direction and now our next letter is h our next letter is h how you will draw a letter h standing line from top to the bottom standing line from top to the bottom and then connect these two standing line with a sleeping line at the middle now for the letter h lowercase letter h we need first of all a standing line from top to bottom and then a curve from the middle that you will convert it into the standing line from middle to the bottom now the letter i is just like a one a standing line from top to the bottom and a small sleeping line at the top and a small sleeping line at the bottom now for the lowercase letter i what you will do you will start from the middle to the bottom okay and then put a small dot at the top of the i now j how you will write the j a standing line from top to the bottom and convert to a little curve in opposite direction just like this and then at the top put a small sleeping line put a small sleeping line now for the lower case letter j a standing line from middle to the bottom you will come out a little from the uh, bottom line and then you will make a small curve just like this and at the top of the j you will put a small dot you have already learned from a to j in the previous lecture now we are going to start our new uh, lecture new we are going to learn the new letter k for the k what you will do first of all you will draw a standing line from top to the bottom and then a stand slanting line then a slanting line from the middle from the top to the middle just like this and then from the middle to the bottom another slanting line let's let's watch it one more try it once more standing line and a slant standing line and a slanting line from the top to the middle and then from the middle to the bottom now let's learn the lowercase letter k a standing line and a slanting line in this case a slanting line from middle and then from the middle to the bottom let's try once more slanting a uh, standing line and then slanting line from the middle and then from the middle to the bottom now let's learn the letter l lower case letter l how you will draw a lower case letter a standing line and a sleeping line at the bottom standing line and a sleeping line at the bottom and for letter l small letter l lower case letter l just a simple standing line from top to the bottom after l we are going to learn the letter m capital letter m how you will draw a capital letter m one standing line from top to the bottom another standing line from top to the bottom then look here from the first standing line you will draw a slanting line from top to the bottom and another slanting line from top to the bottom 
it will make you a letter, capital letter M. Let's write one more, once more. Standing line, another standing line, and then from top to the bottom, uh, slanting line, and another slanting line from top to the bottom. Now we are going to learn the letter M, lowercase letter M. A small standing line, and then a little curve that you will convert into, into the standing line. And again, a little curve, then you will convert it into the standing line. Understood? Now it's a turn of capital letter N, a standing line from top to the bottom, another standing line from top to the bottom, and then connect these two standing line with the slanting line from top to the bottom. Just like this, a standing line, another standing line, and connect it with slanting line with a slanting line from top to the bottom. Now, for the lowercase letter N, what you will do, you will draw a small standing line and then start from a little curve and then convert it into the standing line from middle to the bottom, just like this. And for O, you will draw a complete curved line from top to the bottom, just like a zero. For the lower uppercase letter O, you will use the first three lines, just like this. And for the uppercase, uh, for the uppercase letter, you will use the first three line. And for the lowercase letter, you will use the middle and the bottom line. You will draw a complete surge, uh, curve just like a O. Now after O, we are going to trace the letter P. How you will trace the letter P? A standing line from top to the bottom and then a curved line from top to the middle, just like this. Watch it once more. A standing line from top to the bottom and a curved line from bottom to the middle. Now, the lowercase p and the uppercase p looks the same. Their difference, the difference is their writing position. For the, for the capital P, you will use the first three line of your notebook. And for the lowercase p, you will use the middle, the bottom, and literally you will go out from the bottom. Draw a standing line from middle that crossing the bottom. And then a curve from the middle to the bottom, just like this. Standing line from middle to the bottom, crossing the bottom and a curve from middle to the bottom. Now for the letter Q, what is this letter? Q. Letter Q, you, first of all, you will draw a complete sir, curve just like a, a digit zero from top to the bottom. And then you will put a small slanting line at the end, they touching the bottom, just like this. Let's try it once more, a complete circle and then a small sleeping line. Put a small sleeping line from the middle to the bottom. For the lowercase letter key, first of all, you will use the middle line that crossing the bottom and draw a slanting line. And then draw a complete curve from the middle to the bottom, just like this. Now, after Q, our next letter is R. Our next letter is R. For the R, letter R, first of all, use the first three line and draw a standing line. Then from the top to the middle, draw a complete circle and then from the complete curve and then from the middle to the bottom, a standing line, just like this. Watch it once more. Standing line, curve line, and then from the middle to the bottom, a slanting line. 
Now for the letter R, lower case letter R, draw a standing line from middle to the bottom and a small curve with a small curve just like this. Now after R, our next letter is S. Our next letter is S. What you will do, you will draw a curve from the, from the top to the middle and then from the middle to the bottom, but from the middle, you will change your direction. You will change your direction just like this. Watch it once more. A curve line from top to the middle and then from middle to the top, again, a curve line with the opposite direction. Same, the lowercase letter S you will write, but you will use the middle and the bottom line just like this. And after S, our next letter is T. Our next letter is T. How you will draw a letter T? A standing line from top to the bottom and a sleeping line at the top. A standing line from top to the bottom and a sleeping line at the top. Now for the lowercase letter T, what you will do? You will draw a standing line from top to the bottom with the lit little curve at the bottom and put a sleeping line at the middle. Understood? Now all of you now know how to write your alphabet letter from A to T, both in lowercase and in uppercase. And you also know how the letter looks like from A to T. So let's revise it from the start. A, a, apple. B, b, ball. B, b, balloon. B, b, black. C, k, cake. C, k, cake. D, d, dog. D, d, Duck, E, a, elephant, F, f fish, F, f flower, G, g gorilla, G, g goat, H, h hat, H, h hand, I, a uh, ice cream j j jug j j juice k k kite l l lamp l l lemon m m mama m m monkey n n night and nest, O, uh, orange, O, uh, ostrich, P, P, pencil, Q, K, queen, R, R, rose, S, S, sun, G, T, train. Understood? Now it's time for a homework. Write from K to T, both in uppercase and in lowercase in your notebook. Bye for now. See you soon, inshallah.